What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. Now this week, there are actually some awesome tweaks that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video, so I definitely recommend sticking around until the end. Now there may be only one tweak that a lot of you guys may not use, but still, if you do use Terminal, then you're definitely going to want to check this out. And that brings me to the first tweak of this week, and that is mTerminal. So if you guys use Terminal for whatever reason on your Mac, it's always nice to have that ability to use Terminal on your device when you're on the go. So if you download mTerminal, you can see right here that if we open this up, it's basically going to give you a terminal. And if you use Terminal, then you know how Terminal works. It's basically just commands where you can navigate through your device, check out what packages, files, and everything is within those directories. So you can see right here, if we just check out to see what's in our directories, if we wanted to, we can actually use some gestures that are built into mTerminal that allow us to more efficiently navigate through Terminal. So let's just say that we wanted to uh, go into mobile substrate, or I'm sorry, mobile software update right there, that directory. Rather than typing out the entire thing, we can just double tap in the bottom right hand corner and that's actually going to tab complete. So that always makes everything a whole lot easier when you're navigating through terminal. So we'll just see if there's anything in there, which there's not. So let's go back. And let's say we we're going to go into, uh, let's go into library. There should be some stuff in there. So we'll tab that and then we can check to see what's in the library. So let's just say that we were typing in uh, something right here. Let's say we're going to type in cookies. And then if we wanted to actually go back, let's say we made a uh, spelling error or whatever, or typo, you can actually tap right here and it's going to move the cursor back. Of course, tapping over here is going to move the cursor forward. So there are some awesome things that you can do with these built-in gestures that really makes using Terminal a whole lot easier on your mobile device. So definitely check this out. Next up, we have a tweak called Popular. Now, this is a really cool tweak. It's going to give you all of your recent applications as well as your favorite applications right there within the App Switcher up at the top. So if we invoke the App Switcher, you can see that we have our favorites right over here, and then that's separated by these headers right here, and we have our most used applications. Now, you can see that we can just swipe over through here, and I just have the five most used applications, as you can see right here, and then I just have my favorites, which are always going to be there. So these change dynamically. So the more that you use your applications, then this is going to change. So if I use Gmail a whole lot more, then it's going to move up the scale in terms of the most used apps. So my messages apps is my most used apps right now, or app right now. So if we go back here into our settings and we scroll down here to popular, and let's go ahead and open that up. And then you can see right here that we have our most used application. So if we tap on the settings, then we have the maximum icon count. So if we wanna change this from five, we can change this all the way up to 75, which basically defeats the purpose of having you know your actual favorites up there at the top. I think the five is actually good, even 10, that's possible as well. But I mean, it's all up to you and your preference. And then right down here, you can also check out your statistics. So how long have you used these applications? It's gonna tell you how long. And this is basically going to give you, uh, once, it, once you install the tweak, then it's going to start taking time. So you're not actually gonna have any statistics right when you install the tweak, but afterwards you will. So again, right here, we can also select applications to blacklist if you don't want applications to show up in your app switcher that you actually spend a whole lot of time in, then you can toggle those off right here. So let's go back here and going down here to favorites, this is going to always be up there at the top. So basically the applications that you wanna have stapled right up there at the top, you can select these right here. So you can see that I've selected activator in the camera. All you need to do is tap on an app uh, and then we can add it. So we can add the calculator now. So if we go back here, we go back and you can see the calculator is up there now. So going back again, we also have general where we can hide section labels as well as hide icon labels. So if you wanna do that, we can hide the section labels and not the icon labels. And if we bring this up, you'll notice that we don't have the section labels, but we do have all the icon labels right here. So that's basically how popular works. It is really cool. I definitely recommend checking it out if it's something that you've been looking for. So next up, we have a tweak called Widget Center. And Widget Center is going to allow you to put widgets in that reachability view. So if we go ahead and open up TweetBot here, oh my God, which brings me to my next tweak, which is Scream. So this is a free tweak that you guys can get in Cydia. And all you have to do, download it, open up the settings here, and then you can actually set an activator method. Uh, you can see right here that it's instant screen pop-up. So if you set an activator method, then you use it, then it's going to obviously scream and show a picture. And you can also set an activator method that's going to set a timer. 
So right down here, I just had it set on enable for next open app. So if you toggle that on, then the next time anyone opens an app on your device, it's going to obviously scream at them. So I would be careful with this, especially if it's your phone, because if you give this to somebody and it scares them, they could throw your phone. So just keep that in mind. You can obviously change the screen volume as well. You can change the photo right here. You have several photos that you can go through right here, which I'll let you guys discover just by uh, going in and opening those up. And you also have the different screens that you have right here. So check this out if you wanna freak out your friends for whatever reason. Now next up, we have a really cool tweak called Widget Center. So you'll see right here, if I go ahead and open up an application and then I invoke reachability, we get a widget right up here. Now this is obviously just the control center and we don't have our media controls here, but if we wanted them, all we have to do is swipe down right here and then the widget actually expands. So we can play, pause, we can go to the next track, we can manipulate the volume, we can quickly launch applications right down here and obviously everything is functional. Uh, you can see if we swipe back up, then it minimizes that size of the widget. And you'll also notice that the reachability area actually dynamically changes to the size of the widget. So we don't only have one widget right here, we can actually swipe across and we have more widgets. So we have the media controls here, which you can obviously play, pause, previous or next track. One more swipe, you can see we get a application switcher. So we can swipe through here and we can open up any applications that we have right there. And then one more swipe, we have a clock. So not really sure why we would need a clock. The clock looks really nice, uh, but the clock is usually right there in the status bar. But if for whatever reason you need a widget to tell you the time, then there it is right there. So we do have just a few things you can change up in the settings. So if we go back here, looks like my settings crashed. Let's go back to our widget center. And then you can obviously see you need to enable this. Now you can change the placement of these widgets. So if you want it to be at the bottom, then obviously all you have to do is change that to the bottom and you'll notice everything is right here at the bottom. Now, of course, you will have to swipe up rather than down in order to uh, expand that control center. Again, swiping across. This makes it a little bit easier if you're using reachability for a reason. Then you can see if you're using one hand, then you can actually uh, access everything a little bit better just with your thumb. Of course, right here, if you wanted to change up the widgets, then you can do so right here. You can uh, either dis disable these or you can rearrange them just like that. And if you tap right here for the uh, widget center switcher, then you can blur the app window or not blur the app window. So all that really does, you can see right here, if we activate this and we swipe over to the app window, this is not blurred when before it actually was. So that's widget center. Hopefully in the future, we're going to see more widgets there. This actually worked flawlessly. I haven't had any issues whatsoever and it had really nice animation. So it's always the little things that make things stand out and widget center does just that. Next up, we have Axial. So what this does is you can see if we go ahead and pull up on our control center, we actually get applications right up here that we can quickly launch. Now this is obviously customizable and there's some other things that we're gonna go into the settings here in just a second, but you'll just notice that this actually is more efficient to me anyway. So, I mean, we have the entire screen to use and it looks really nice, looks a whole lot better than just swiping up on the control center. And we also just have that nice little fade in animation as you can see right there. But if we go into our settings here, we're gonna check out axial. So right up here, obviously you can enable or disable it right below that. You can enable this on the lock screen as well. So if you want to do that, just toggle that on. If we go into the apps, you can actually uh, toggle on use app box apps, which is actually another tweak. So if you want to use that, then you can just toggle that on. And we also have our lock screen apps right here. So if we tap on apps right here, then you can change what apps you want to obviously show in that portion. So let's just say that we're going to add a few. So let's say we're going to add alien blue. We're going to add Amazon and we're going to add the app store right there. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's go back here and we're gonna actually change the grid layout. So we have three apps per row and how many apps per row in landscape we have four. So we're gonna change this. Well, actually we just need three. So we're gonna do three by three. So it's gonna show nine. So when we come back down here, we have activation corner for landscape, which this is obviously going to work in landscape as well. I'll show you that here in just a second. If you wanna to toggle on badges, labels, and round icons, and you can do so right here, I'll do, uh, badges and labels. I won't do round icons. I think it looks a little bit better without that. But you can see right here, if we swipe up, we have all those applications right there. And then right down here, if we wanted to change the opacity or the scaling, then we can do so just by swiping that like that and bring it back up. 
you'll notice that obviously it's a little more transparent and the applications are much bigger. But we're gonna go ahead and go back here to right about here and that looks about right. So let's go back here and you can actually change the background blur as well. So if we wanna change it from the light, then we can change this to extra light, which is obviously pretty light, or we can do dark, which is probably my favorite, as you can see right there. So that looks really nice to me. Going back here, we also have combined button sections. So you can see what that does right here if you have this toggled on. It combines the settings, airplays, and quick launch sections into a scroll view. So scrolling to the left of the settings section for airplay, scroll to the right for the quick launch. So if we go ahead and swipe this up, you'll see if we swipe over that we have all our quick launch, and then swiping back over here, we have airdrop as well as airplay right there. And you guys know when you're in landscape mode and you pull up your control center, it takes up the entire screen. But with that setting, we can just swipe up on the bottom left-hand corner and it's going to pull up Axial. And we can do it on the right-hand corner as well. So that's how you access Axial in landscape mode. Next up, we have a tweak called Atom. So if you guys aren't familiar with Atom, it's basically a lock screen tweak that allows you to quickly launch applications directly from the lock screen. So you can see right here, we have a little grabber. And if we tap on that, then we get all of our applications that we've set within the settings right here on the lock screen. So obviously if you pull the little grabber over one of these applications and you let go, then it's going to open up that application from the lock screen, or you can just bring it to the middle right here and go over the unlock button. Now, if you're gonna do that and you have touch ID, I mean, you might as well just use the touch ID sensor just because if you pull your grabber over the unlock or any of these applications, you're still going to have to enter your passcode or use touch ID. So that's kind of a bummer that there's not anything that will uh, allow us to you know, bypass that. But you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up the calculator, We'll go ahead and put in our touch ID and it goes directly to the calculator. So that's basically all that this does. Now, of course, if we go into our settings and go into Atom, you do have a kill switch right up here, really self-explanatory how to set this up. All you need to do is just tap on one of these and it's going to allow you to change what application that is. So let's just say we want to change this application to, uh, let's go down here to just settings and we'll go back and we'll change bottom left to Cydia. So now when we go back, those two should change. And we tap on this, you see settings right there, and then you see Cydia right there. So really self-explanatory how this tweak works. Not very much to explain. It does look really nice. I just wish there was a way to bypass the passcode or just launch the application in a more creative way, kind of like Barricade did. And if you guys want to check out my review on that, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. But that's all I have for the best tweaks of the week. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything Apple as well as everything Jailbreak, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.